Welcome back to Animal X. The animal kingdom is full of amazing creatures that never cease to surprise us. But is it possible they could be more closely related to us than we know? Time now to check out the true feelings behind animal emotions. Our feelings for animals are often very strong. But what sort of feelings do our animals have for us? Are they capable of the same sort of emotions that we experience? Orangutans um, display the full range of emotions that, um, that I've seen in humans. I've always believed that animals have complex emotions. She feels she's like Mother Teresa. Animal X travels to Australia to meet two dogs said to demonstrate some very human emotions, but first to Long Island, New York. Philip Gonzalez is the owner of Ginny, a canine, on an incredible mission to help her natural arch enemies, cats. Ginny is a mixed breed. She's part Siberian Husky and part Schnauzer and part Angel. What uh, Ginny would do, which is really strange, was she would see a feral cat who was injured in the streets and she would walk right up to it and start cleaning it and the cat wouldn't bother her or anything like that. This amazingly compassionate dog has rescued over 800 injured or stray cats. At first I thought that uh, she was raised with cats, but the information I got was she was never with any cats before. Ginny did not learn any of this from me because I, at the time I didn't have any cats. I think Ginny, what well, she feels, she's like Mother Teresa. I think if she sees uh, an animal who's injured, she wants to go and help it out. Yes, yeah, she does have emotions that are similar to humans, like she has a lot of compassion. Professor Jeffrey Mason is one of the world's leading authorities on animal emotions. I believe that some animals experience emotions that we don't even have access to. I believe that humans have a range of emotion that's probably greater than any other animal. But when it comes to intensity, there are some animals that are our superior. But I believe, for example, that dogs experience friendship more intensely than we do. Kath and James Sutherland of Wembley in Australia live with their dog Shumba. Shumba suffers from extreme anxiety when left alone and will go to extraordinary lengths to find human companionship. When the neighbours came home, they saw Shumba sitting in the garage and they looked around the house and all their fly wire screens had been ripped off. And so they said, Shumba, she's a great dog, she's protected us from robbers. And then they got the police around and the policeman came up to the, our neighbour and said, look, I'm sorry, all we can find are paw prints. So actually the hero of the day, Shumba, actually ended up being the terror of the day and she caused the whole problem. No matter what lengths Kath and James go to, Shumba will always find a way to be with people. It's like uh, me and Houdini at times, because uh, although I try my best, she certainly knows how to crack every combination that I've ever put up there. But um, fundamentally I would have said um, she's wanting to be around people. Shumba definitely displays emotions and we've seen that when we've gone away for long periods of time. When we're packing our bags, she knows and she gets really mopey. It'll come back to the clothes that you're wearing. You know, you, you sort of dress for an aeroplane, you pack your bags and yeah, she starts to sort of say, oh yeah, here we go, this is great, I'm going to be left on my own again. I think all dogs have got emotions, but some are just better at expressing them than others. And Shumba's very good at expressing her emotions. I've always believed that animals have complex emotions. I can remember going to a zoo at the age of five and thinking, these animals are bored. Now, of course, we recognize, and even zoos recognize, of course animals are bored, and this is why they're constantly trying to enrich their environment to make certain that they don't feel that. And I think that anybody who lives with a cat or a dog or a bird automatically knows that that animal feels emotion. The animals that have emotions closest to ours are probably the animals that resemble us in so many ways. So these are the great apes, the gorillas, chimpanzees and orangutans. They clearly have feelings very similar to ours. Leif Cox is a primate expert. He has studied the behavior of orangutans for many years. 
Although we can never look inside an orangutan's mind to, um, to know exactly what's feeling, just as, as humans, we can't look inside other human beings to um, know exactly how they're feeling. But um, certainly from my experience over many years working with these animals, it would, I find it very hard to describe what they're going through without referring to um, what we call emotions. Orangutans um, display the full range of emotions that, um, that I've seen in humans. I don't believe there are any animals who have no emotions. I'm of the firm belief that all living creatures feel something. If animals do indeed share our emotions, we may be coming closer to understanding why we feel such a strong affinity with them. Could we be dealing with something that is a genetic experiment, uh, something that's a hybrid escape from uh, a laboratory somewhere? We kind of stared at each other for a few seconds, and then the thing that sticks in the mind is the eyes. The eyes really pierce. I really believe that the dog saved my life. I know that. I know that with my, my heart. Mysterious tales of the animal world continue to fascinate and perplex us. After all, it said there are stranger things in heaven and earth than we can think of. You've just seen some of them on Animal X.